Oh hey there, Legend of Zelda fans! Were you a fan of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker on Nintendo GameCube back in the day whenever it was released? Were you one of the people that didn't actually try giving the game a bunch of flack just for its fucking cell shaded cartoony look, even though it looked really fucking good? Well, you're gonna be in luck because they are doing an HD remake of it, and it's not just one of those half-assed HD remakes. No, 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 no. This is gonna drop in the fall of this year. And they're going to be going all out. And when I say HD Remake, I mean, it looks like night and day. I've seen some shit running at, you know, all the bells and whistles on the Dolphin emulator. And this actually looks better than that. So this has me pretty fucking happy. And it's weird because some of the screenshots, it looked like a Tim Burton movie. Like where it's kind of got that claymation look to it. But I'm talking like super duper, all oh my fucking god, high res type shit. It was absolutely stunning looking. But... They plan on doing even more with it. They want to go with like this non-linear approach within the dungeon. So I'm assuming that they're going to go with something where when you enter a dungeon, it's not just one path that you go down, you know, you, you solve the random puzzles within each room to progress into the next area. You beat a certain amount of enemies to get items so you can backtrack into another area to open up that uh, one door that you couldn't previously get inside of. I think what it's going to be is just like, really fucking open-ended. If that's the case, this could be an extremely different ga like, game for anybody that's played through it previously. But this also calls into question of whether or not they're going to be adding in new features, new areas for you to explore, new bosses, new anything. Have they actually announced that? No, but it's not out of the realm of possibility at this point. Now, another thing that they had said is they don't want to make it so that you have to be a certain dungeon in order. So basically, this is going to be an extremely non-linear approach to Legend of Zelda series, so you can beat, you know, this dungeon, then go off to that one, and beat this one, and go off to that one. So how are they going to have this game set up? Because usually with Legend of Zelda series, it's like, you go to this area, you beat this, you get this item, which now allows you to progress into this area of the world, so that you can end up going to that dungeon and fighting all these enemies, and, you know, that's, that's pretty much been a main staple within the series, so it makes me kind of interested... How are they going about all of this? They didn't exactly answer that, but it seems like they're just trying to be very open-minded about this. So it's, I'm, I'm assuming, a little more accessible to casual gamers, maybe? Whatever the case is, I'm assuming that this is going to be something that they're it, they're kind of testing the waters. Maybe with the future Legend of Zelda titles, that's one of the first things that came to mind. Is They're going to try this out, see how people react to it, and then maybe apply it to future titles within the franchise. You know, on the 3DS and Wii U and things of that nature. And the nice thing about this is they're still making a Legend of Zelda game on the Wii U, and they're making this in addition. So if you've never got your hands on Wind Waker on GameCube, or you just passed up and then you thought about playing it, well, and you have a Wii U or plan on getting a Wii U, then you're in luck because this fall they're going to be dropping it, and you can just play that one. And it's going to have like all the bells and whistles and look all super shiny, happy, good time and stuff. I'm pretty fucking happy. I am. This just pretty much for any Legend of Zelda fan, this is really kick-ass. You know, they could have went and remade a ton of stuff, which, still waiting for maybe, oh, I don't know, uh, Link to the Past to be remade, since that's been rumored a ton of times. And they've even, uh, Nintendo themselves has talked about that, expressing some sort of interest in it, or at least doing another top-down perspective Legend of Zelda. But if they were going to, I imagine it would be on the 3DS. But then, you know, also would like to see, oh, well, you know, <clears throat> Operation Moonfall, uh, you know, <clears throat> Majora's Mask. Oh, that would be really nice. You know, Majora's Mask. I mean, if they're going to remake Majora's Mask, I would like to see it done up like that one trailer where it made everything really fucking badass. Oh my god, that would be amazing. But I'm glad that Wind Waker is going to be getting a second go because I thought that the game, despite it being extremely fun and a really good installment into the series, just got a lot of shit just because of its visual presentation. And I thought that was really silly, because it's like, you know, I, I don't try judging a game by its graphics or the way that it looks and stuff. I judge it based on its gameplay, you know, on, on its world, its music. It, it, is it fun? <laughs> you know, just because it goes with a, a certain art style doesn't mean shit. So, hopefully, hopefully this one will end up getting a little bit more credit. But, either way, if you hate it, you hate it, you probably won't change your mind. If you loved it, you loved it. Like me. So... This will be coming out in fall this year, so that'll be something else to add to your Nintendo Wii U must-have list, and I'm going to buy this, and I'm going to just fucking absorb all this Nintendo knowledge and become, you know, absolutely fucking fanatical on the stuff that is released. So, anyway, 
sound off opinions and thoughts and things like that. Uh, the news article is down below in the description field, so if you want to go and click on that and see like all the other little details, there isn't a whole lot, but there's enough. But still, if you want to go check that, you can. And express some thoughts, opinions, feelings, and all the other good shit. But this is Alpha Omega Sin, as always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers. Game the fuck on.